Are they monsters? Yeah, it is. You got some big loaches. Try not to kink the air pump or reduce the flow coming out. So what's going on here is the ammonia and nitrite are basically zero. So that means that the filter's been working. Um, the nitrate is definitely coming up. So it's well, well overdue for a water change. Um, the pH is starting to go a little bit towards the acidic side, which isn't ideal, which once again means it's way overdue for a water change and the kh was basically zero so if the kh does get to zero your fish can die um, and it also can affect the good bacteria um, and the gh is about 50. so gh can accumulate in an aquarium and um, that gh is about as high as i've ever seen it so considering the fish look all right and the gh is 50 i think we're doing pretty well but we're definitely overdue for some water changes because we definitely want to get that down definitely want to get the kh up Definitely want to get the pH up, definitely want to get the nitrate down. So the most important thing to do now is clean this filter. And all of that media needs to be cleaned in water from my, that I removed from the aquarium. And then after that I can start doing a gravel clean. Now the reason why you want to be doing a gravel clean when you do a water change is that this is the water that you want to be removing. And you're going to, by siphoning out the gravel, we're pulling all that waste out and then we're trying to put nice healthy clean water back in we don't want to just take all the clean water off the gravel top. cleaning that's what I'm really wanting to remove if your aquarium doesn't get the maintenance that it deserves um one thing that i would pretty much insist you get is this stuff here called polyfilter because polyfilter will adsorb and absorb anything impure out of the water now this tank has previously previously been run with polyfilter and it's probably one of the reasons why the fish look so good even though the water quality wasn't ideal because this thing um, is just absolutely wonderful for removing anything that shouldn't be in the water because over time things do accumulate in the water and this stops that so I've had aquariums that are um, lucky to have a water change once a year and the fish are surprisingly good but um, I can't recommend this enough the temperature of this tank is about 23 24 which is really a little bit on the cool side and it did feel a tiny bit cool now the issue is that the heater was set at about 27 so therefore, either the heater isn't calibrated or the heater isn't working. So I'm just going to try turning it up a little bit. And that needs to be monitored. So this thermometer needs to be checked. Because if um, you stabilize the temperature at sort of 24, 25 minimum, then it might just be okay. You might just need to turn the heater up a little bit more. But any time that you change the temperature of a heater, you've got to monitor the temperature for a while to make sure that the outcome is satisfactory. Otherwise, these fish will end up with a white spot and then they'll suddenly die, particularly because of their age and because they're not getting the water change. Now, one thing I find over and over again is that fish keeping is 50% water quality. And in this case, it's not ideal, but it's also 50% fish food. So the nutrients that you feed your fish is absolutely the most important thing. So therefore, even if the water quality is not right, you can find the fish are still very good. These fish are very healthy. And it's because of the quality of these fo this food. So this is extremely high quality food. It'd be the highest quality you can get. But I do want to ask that you always make sure that the lid's shut. Because um, you can have the best quality food in the world. But it still will go stale if um, you leave it open. So here's some spare food ready to go. So food wise the fish are getting very very good food so that's half of fish keeping right there and that would explain why these fish are so beautiful now i've done a water change to reduce the gh i can't change any more than this amount of water because it's starting to get cool this is the maximum water change that i like to do anyway about a 50 percent 
it's better to do small regular changes than do one big change. And I'm also going to add a bit of KH because the KH was almost zero. Now I've just cleaned this aquarium, so all the fish are hiding. And it's really not unusual for me to clean an aquarium. And when I'm finished, it almost looks just as bad or potentially worse than it did at the start. And that's pretty normal because you disturb everything. Um, now, the other thing is that with fish, quite commonly fish will hide if there's not many fish around. Because when you get more fish, the fish feel safe. And then the fish are more likely to come out. Um, these fish are very, very flighty, which is common with these species. But at the same time, um, having a higher populated tank may release their stress a little bit because they are very highly strung. The other thing to remember is that fish don't live forever. So four to six years is a pretty normal, four sort of seven years is a good life for most of these tropical fish. Um, but some of them can live a lot longer, like clown loaches. They can have surprisingly long lives. Now I'm gonna try and angle this pump up because I really want that giving me more surface agitation. That breaking the surface. Now these filters, these are gonna get very dirty very fast. Because I've just disturbed everything in the tank um, that's going to get horrendously dirty soon because all that waste that I've disturbed is all going to want to end up in there so that's going to need cleaning so I'm a very big believer in changes king so you set your tank up um, and you absolutely love it for about a year and then after all you've seen it and then changing decorations or changing fish is really what keeps you interested in the hobby. So I'm a very big fan of change. I really think every now and then you can trade your fish in, get some different fish, or swap your ornaments around. Anything to make the tank different is what keeps you interested in it. Now the main function of this pump is to agitate the surface. So we want that surface to be well broken. We also want to keep an eye on that pump because I've just cleaned out the tank so it'll fill up with debris really quickly. I've already cleaned it once and it's already looking like it needs to clean. So making sure that you're good at surface agitation is what increases your dissolved oxygen level and also increases your redox potential. And it's crucial for the fish. Over time you might find these air pumps get old and noisy. So you can either replace the diaphragms inside the air pump. Otherwise, um, if it is old, you could think about replacing the air pump. So this tank will clear up much better. But if I had my way, I'd probably come back next week and give it another service to get it back um, to good. Because normally a tank like this, I'd normally like to be servicing it about once a month. But let's say at worst every three months. But if you are going to go for really long times, like a year, two years, polyfilter and high quality food is your secret. So good quality foods like this, half your battle. And making sure you're using polyfilter to remove cumulants. And some of these light tubes could be replaced as well, just to brighten the tank up. Some of the electric yellows might look nice in here, and some nice, really colourful peacocks, like metallic blue and stuff.